Hello, welcome to demonstration on how you can uh, analyze uh, sales data using both the sum if function and uh, the pivot table. Now, I'm actually going to be to begin here by showing you a quick demonstration on how you can actually use the sum if function to summarize the data that's actually in this particular uh, data set. So uh, here we have uh, we want to summarize the data by store. So we're going to use the summary function for this particular activity and then we'll move over and try to summarize the same data using the pivot table so that you can actually appreciate the differences between the two and also appreciate that if you know a little bit of uh, some of these functions, they can be equally competitive uh, because you can figure out a way of actually creating them very quickly so that uh, you will also save a lot of time. So using the summary function, for example, to analyze the, the data by store, in other words, we want to summarize the data by store, all we do is we create the function once we enter the equal sign and we type in, we call up the sum if function, sum if. So we double click on it. And then of course, uh, it's actually asking us where is the range of the data that you want us to summarize. We know that it's actually store number. So then you click on the column later there so that you select the entire, the entire column. Then you use a comma. And then what is your criteria? So in other words, in this range, what you want to look for? You want to look for this value, right? Which is store number one, comma. And then if that store value actually exists, what do you want to do? We want to add up all the values that are related to that particular value in this column, right? So the total weekly revenue should be added up and then closing parentheses like that. Okay, so all we have to do is we create that uh, formula once because remember that when I was actually selecting columns, I was using the column letter so that I select everything in that particular column. So once I've done that, I can actually use the fill handle to copy the same formula uh, downwards. So I have to create the formula only once. So I'm going to do the same again for this, for the region cells. So equal sign, sum if, double click on it. And uh, we, which, where is the range where I'll be able to find uh, the region codes? It's actually this column here, right? And then comma. And what is the criteria? I want to look up this value from that range, and then I want total weekly revenue to be summarized, right, for that particular value. And then we have done it for South region, and then we, all we do is we use our fill handle to copy. So we just create once, and then we copy the formula. Now moving on by month, we notice here it's only three months, October, November, December. So again, we look up the sum if function, and again, we have to be careful that you select the correct column where those values actually exist, comma, and then the criteria is going to be uh, this value. When it's actually found, we want to summarize the weekly revenue, closing parenthesis, and that is done, and we copy for November and December. And then finally, by, by product, again, equal sign, sum if, double click on it, and uh, then again, uh, in this case, it's uh, item description, which is column E and comma. And uh, then the criteria is actually going to be the sales item, comma. And then, of course, we click on the total weekly revenue and close the parenthesis. And we copy the same formula. Right. So you can see we've actually been able to do this quite quickly. Right, so even though we needed to understand how to activate the sum if function, right, but uh, again, uh, the methods are using uh, involve a lot of shortcuts so that you can only create the formula once and then you just copy, right? So that's very, very key. However, there are times when people say, well, I'm not so familiar with, uh, with the sum if function, that's too complicated for me. Now you can actually use the pivot table. Right, so what we can do here to use the pivot table, uh, all we have to do is we just go to insert and then now uh, we click uh, for P 
pivot table and then we select the table range. I've already prepared that so that you can, we can really focus on things that really matter here. So what I want to do here is I want to uh, create a pivot table for region and store summaries. Okay, so all I have to do is I select uh, the cells, uh, the cells region, but I also want the store to be one of the rows. So I want the stores to fall under those specific regions. And then all I want is the total weekly revenue. And uh, before you know it, we've already done a summary, uh, not only for the region, but also for the store. And then all I have to do is just to make sure that we format uh, the values so that they look right. And uh, we go to number format. We want a, a, to be a number, I want a thousand separator. And uh, okay, okay. And then that is actually formatted. Now we can go ahead and also do a summary by month that we also did using the sum if function. So all we have to do here is we'll go for week ending. That's where the month is and then total weekly revenue. And uh, that is actually summarized and we can go ahead and do the formatting of the values uh, again. Right, number and uh, a thousand separator, two decimal places, and that should be about right. And then finally, we actually do a quick summary of for uh, the product. We want to do a, a summary by product. So it's item description and uh, the weekly. Right, and then we do the formatting to make sure that the values are more presentable. Uh, we want uh, a number, a thousand separator, and uh, two decimal places. All right. So again, here we can see that we've we've actually done uh, exactly the same kind of activity that we did uh, with, uh, you know, with the sum if. Even though the sum if we're not actually adding up the overall totals anyway, but the numbers actually match each other exactly. <laughs> right. So, so, so you can see that there is a more complicated way of actually doing it, which again, if you actually get to know the function, uh, it can actually be simplified and it can be very, very quick as well. Now, however, you will notice that the pivot table func functionality is, um, uh, is actually more advanced uh, in that when we are actually here, we are able to do a variety of things. Let's say, for example, we want to do further analysis of our um, uh, products, maybe in a month, right? And so we can actually add in, let's say, for example, uh, we want to analyze, we want to filter this data by the store number, let's say store number. So all you do is you point a store number and drag it into the filters box here. And then this will actually show up. And uh, all we have to do is we can click on the list arrow there and you can say, okay, we want sales uh, by month for store number six, like that. And uh, then it will just uh, pull out a information that is only relevant to store number six, right? Okay, and uh, or store number eight, okay, and it will give us that type of information. Then of course, uh, if you feel like uh, we didn't want to use that filter anymore, right? We, we can always remove it, right? And then we maybe we can say we want to filter by region, right? Once again, we're actually able to click on the list arrow and say we want just want the north cells by month. And uh, there you have it, right? So we can do the same with uh, products as well, uh, where, for example, we may say, okay, products we want to do some analysis by, you know, it could be by month, uh, right, week ending. So we can use that as a filter. And uh, then when we click on that, just one October, okay, right, and uh, it generates sales only for, uh, for those products in that particular month. So you can see that um, uh, there is limitation to some of the functions but they can actually come in handy if you know how to use them. And again, it's always good just to practice them 
and you find that they can really come in handy in certain situations. But I just wanted to contrast that with the pivot table that beyond just summarizing the data, there's a much more filtering that you can actually do with pivot table that really makes things uh, much, much easier and it makes uh, your work uh, with uh, the analysis of your data much more productive in that particular regard. Otherwise, that concludes a quick demonstration for you where I was demonstrating how you can use the summary function to summarize sales data and also how to use the pivot table, kind of contrasting the two. Otherwise, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. And again, if you like the video, like it, share the video, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And bye for now.